in relation between induced charge and change in flux. According to Faraday's law, the modulus of EMF equal to d5 by b, dt, d5 by dt, rate of change of flux, EMF induced with rate of change of flux. And here we have taken the modulus. If R is the resistance of the closed loop, then induced current will be E by R. EMF by resistance, that is according to Ohm's law, I equal to E by R. Then I, we know dQ by dt, rate of change of current, rate, rate of change of charge, that is current. Then A, E equal to d5 by dt, then into 1 by R. So induced charge dQ for a time dt, this is dQ by dt, therefore what is dQ? This factor into dt, so dt and dt will cancel and we get d5 by r, charge is equal to d5 by r. What is d5? Change in magnetic flux. What is r? Resistance of the coil. So charge induced depends only on the change in flux and resistance. It do not depend upon the time interval. The next is a d current, very important one, a d current. It's also known as Foucault current, named after the scientist. Foucault is the name of the scientist who invented this uh, D current. Okay. Let's explain the next example. Uh, let's explain a D current. Uh, here you can see two poles of the magnet, magnetic poles, north and south poles of the magnet. In between that, a, this is a metallic plate, you see metallic plate, for example, copper plate, aluminum plate, need not be magnetic, it's a copper, it is not at all a magnetic material. And aluminum also, it's only a metal, so non-magnetic non material. So, such a conduct, uh, conducting plate, metallic plate, is kept between the poles of the magnet or it is suspended suspended between the poles of the magnet and this is the poles of an electromagnet what is electromagnet electromagnet is a magnet only when current is sent to that, that changes to the magnet for example uh, if the solenoid you know when current is sent it changes into a magnet so that's such a magnet and it is having two poles, this is not the pole and south pole of the magnet. And there will be magnetic field between the poles of the magnet. Magnetic field, the direction of magnetic field, north to south, that is the direction of magnetic field. So in that magnetic field, a, a metallic plate is suspended. See, this become, this is a poles of, a, these are the poles of an electromagnet. So when there is no current, this just acts as the metal piece or iron piece, will not be a magnet. So, first case we are discussing when there is no magnetic field, this we give oscillations to this uh, metal, this metallic plate. This is a metallic plate. These are the poles of the magnet. So, first what is the case? No current. Okay, no current is applied. It is not a magnet, there is no magnetic field. What we do? We just uh, uh, that raise or give some oscillation, not continuing that, just uh, move it and release it. Then it will begin to oscillate for a long time. That is suspended, you know, vertically it is suspended. So that will uh, begin to oscillate for a long time. But you know, just when we switch on the current, what happened? This becomes the poles of the magnet and the magnetic field is set up and the oscillation is in the magnetic field. So what happened? What happened? A current will be induced whenever there is change in magnetic flux linked with the metallic plate, a current will be induced in it. And that current induced will oppose the motion of this metallic plate. That means it will be suddenly stopped. I'll explain once more. So first case, no, it is not at all the uh, magnet. No current is sent through the electromagnet. So, it, and we give oscillations to this metallic plate that will continue oscillate for a long time. Next, when we switch on the current, this becomes the poles of the magnet. And uh, we know there is a magnetic field. 
between the poles of the magnet and uh, thus oscillation suddenly comes to a stop. When there is no field, it was oscillating for a long time, but when we switch on the current, that means when there is magnetic field and when it oscillates, oscillating what happens, you know, area, area of this metallic plate in the field is changing, area is changing, we know e equal to minus d phi by dt and phi equal to b a cos theta flux equal to b a cos theta and the emf induced is equal to minus d phi by dt therefore i is equal to d phi by dt by resistance resistance of this plate okay so here just when we switch on the current magnetic field is set up and when the oscillations are suddenly stopped do you know the reason because when is the see when this metallic plate go out of the field you, at the time of oscillation sometimes it move out of the field come towards the field out of the field that is oscillation you know when it come towards the field flux linked with the plate increases when it move away from the field flux linked with the metallic plate decreases so both the time there is change in magnetic flux linked with the metallic plate so what happened a current will be induced in the metallic plate. That current will be in the form of eddies. Eddies means current which are flowing in circular way. Circular way the current is flowing. Did you watch that video I sent in our group? Our physics group I sent uh, two or three videos on Lenz's law, eddy currents. See, the, the very good picture you will get when you watch it. I think you have watched it. So in that circular form, like eddies, in water you can you can see eddies near to the suppose water is flowing in a turbulent way, and in near to the pillars and all you can see eddy circular current of water like this current here circular current of water in that rivers and all you can see, and, but you know here it is current flow in circular form. That's why it is called eddy, in the, just like the shape of that eddy, the current, like this current is flowing, circular way current is flowing, that is eddy. So that's why it's called eddy current. But scientists who invented it is uh, uh, Foucault. So it is also known as Foucault current, okay. So here, uh, why this uh, metallic plate suddenly stopped when a magnetic field is set up between the, the poles of the magnets? Because of the eddy current. What is the property of the eddy current? The eddy current formed will always oppose the cause which is producing it. The cause which is producing it. What is the cause? Change in flux. So uh, uh, here, when the coil, here, magnet is not moved, only the metallic sheet is moved. So change in flux is opposed. Change in flux is opposed. So, uh, so it will send a current in the plate in order to oppose the change in flux. Oppose the change in flux, oppose the motion. It is the motion which is causing the change in magnetic flux. So opposing the cause, what is the cause? Change in flux. So opposing the, uh, for in order to oppose the change in flux, it induces a EMF and thereby it sends a current in the form of eddies in the metallic plate. So that is eddy current. So, due to the uh, formation of eddy current, that metallic plate suddenly stops. So, uh, uh, there are so many desirable effects of eddy current and uh, that, so that, that we can apply for different applications, but you know, undesirable effect also is there. That means current is wasted in the form of heat energy and all. So, uh, we can study how can you reduce this eddy current? Because there are uh, undesirable effects of this eddy current. So, some cases we have to reduce eddy current, eddy current formation in metallic plate. So, for that you put some slots in the same sheet. If you put some slots like this, it is made like this, put some slots in it. Do you know what happens? That uh, the it, that eddy current formed will be less. Do you know the reason? Why a decurrent form is less? See, anyway, uh, when the flux linked with the metallic plate changes, EMF will be induced in it. 
and that emf uh, due to that emf a current flows through this metallic plate but you know that metallic plate has to move a longer path like this like this it has to move a longer path longer path means resistance is more less resistance is more current will be less so eddy current produced will be less if we put some slots in the metallic field and there is uh, another uh, method to reduce eddy current that is uh, laminating the soft iron for a transformer in a transformer then uh, that wires are bounded on the transformer and on the metallic plate wires are bounded on a thick metallic plate so there large amount of heat will be produced large amount of heat will be produced so in order to reduce that the thick metallic plate is laminated laminate if you have watched that video you will be knowing that in transformer a thick met, uh, brass plate is there so and over that brass that wires are bounded transformer will be studying later but uh, here uh, a decurrent undesirable effect when we study we have to discuss that case transformer so uh, just uh, it have a thick metallic plate and over that metallic plate the wires are bounded and this instead of keeping a thick metallic plate it is made into thin thin sheets lam that is not a laminated soft iron core soft iron core is made into thin sheets you just think uh, just like uh, cutting it thin thin cutting it into bread you can consider bread you know bread we can uh, as this uh, bread can be cut into slices in thin slices and they are kept parallel to each other in the in a bread packet when you buy uh, the single piece that is cut into thin small pieces like just like that a metallic uh, material that is cut into thin thin sheets thin thin sheets and each sheet will be insulated each sheet will be insulated by the, by what by varnishing it or by Uh, keeping wax between that what is the purpose of that varnishing or uh, insulating the material when it is insulated the current formed in one sheet will not be passed into the other sheet so continuity will not be there and also in between there is a varnish or a wax between them so resistance is more so current flow becomes less eddy current formed will be less admiral said to and then okay so here uh, laminating the soft iron core that is what we are discussing laminating the soft iron core in order to reduce the eddy current what is meant by laminating laminating means uh, instead of keeping a thick metallic plate we just uh, cut into thin thin pieces and all are kept parallel to each other just like a bread you know they are kept parallel to each other just like that and then then that is in the magnetic field it is kept parallel to the feed lines magnetic field it is kept parallel to the feed lines so eddy current produced will be less that is the purpose of laminating the soft iron core because each sheet is Uh, insulated with the varnish uh, and also either you can var uh, insulate it with varnish or you can keep wax between that the two thin sheet thereby resistance increases and thereby eddy current formed will be reduced okay so uh, that is an important question when we study in transformer how the eddy current formed is reduced Uh, not thing with the efficiency of a transformer a decurrent produced must be reduced so what will you say how can you reduce the decurrent laminating the soft iron core used in transformer laminating okay i think you understood if you have doubt you can call me so next 
So by putting slots, what happened? Oscillation continue for some more time. Why? A D current reduced is less. In this case, no slots. There, so what happened? A D current is more. So it suddenly drops. So a D current, you know, that opposes the relative motion. That opposes the change in plug magnetic flux. Here the change in magnetic flux is produced due to area changing. Area is changing. B A cos theta. Flux is equal to B A cos theta. How the flux changes? B can be changed. A can be changed. Theta can be changed. By that way we can change the flux. So here in this particular case, area is changing. We are not changing the area when it moves to and fro. The area linked with the magnetic field changes. Next, you can see. Application. Eddy current can be minimized by using laminated cores in transformers, shock coil, induction coil, etc. This is achieved by increasing the number of thin sheets. Increasing the resistance of the metal core by using number of thin sheets insulated from each other by a thin layer of varnish or wax, etc. That I explained. Next, applications of eddy current. So, that is undesirable effect of eddy current. Then, certain cases, it is uh, useful. In many cases, it is useful. Eddy current information is uh, made useful. And in, in different example, you can see electromagnetic damping. Damping means stopping. Electromagnetic damping. In galvanometer, galvanometer we already studied. What, do, what are things are there in galvanometer? You can see a magnetic pole. Like concave shape 90 volt, in between that uh, current carrying coil is kept uh, and it is coil is wound over a soft iron core, coil is wound over a soft iron core, when current is passed through the coil, it produces torque, torque, experience a torque and deflect and that deflection that is what we read in the uh, scale. So, uh, electromagnetic damping means you just imagine that the galvanometer and when we connect the galvanometer in the circuit, if we start oscillating, if the pointer is oscillating like this, can you take reading first? The co that pointer is oscillating on the scale like oscillating. Can we take it reading? You take it's oscillating. So it is difficult to take the reading, you know, when it is oscillating for a long time. So, in order to get the oscillations or in order to get the readings faster, you know, that should be damped very fast. That means that should come to a stop in a particular reading on that scale. That should come to a stop. Suddenly, if it comes to a stop, we can read it very fast. Okay. So, electromagnetic damping means that that is stopped uh, very fast. So, we can take the reading easily. So, uh, when current is measured by using a galvanometer, its coil oscillates to and fro before coming to rest. For quick measurements, there should be quick damping. As the coil rotates, what happens when the coil rotates? The eddy current will be formed and that eddy current Okay, eddy current will be formed and that eddy current, you know, that opposes the, uh, opposes the change in flux. So, what happened? That will be stopped suddenly. Okay. So, that is an application of eddy current. Which one? Electromagnetic damping. Fire in galvanometer. Electromagnetic damping. Applications of a decurrent, it is useful there. There, a decurrent formed is uh, making us to read that uh, fast. We get the reading very fast because of the damping, electromagnetic damping. There, also, that you know, that coil is wound over a soft iron core, soft iron core, and that core, you know, a decurrent will be formed and it makes that pointer to stop or damp the galvanometer fast and we can take the reading and all these applications are given in text also 
you get a clear picture, you will need text book also. Or you can call me, no problem. But nobody is calling me. I don't know why. Next day. You tell the reason why you are not calling uh, me and asking doubts. Individually, you have to give a report on why you are not calling me and for clearing your doubts. Okay? Today, in WhatsApp, I expect that answer. Why you are not, uh, if you are, uh, whether you are not having any doubts. Uh, uh, what is the reason why you are not calling me to clear your doubts? Reason you have to tell to everybody, yeah? inform me. Okay. Next, uh, induction furnace. Next is induction furnace. There also, uh, it is applied. It is an application of eddy current in order to melt the ore that the eddy current is used. So you can here you can see a metal piece is kept in a very magnetic field. A metal piece, metal, metal, metal. Metal piece is kept. It is not a magnetic material. Metal piece, copper, aluminium, etc. A metal piece is kept in between the poles of a magnet. Varying magnet, not a uh, constant field. It is varying. That is very important. Varying. Varying magnetic field. So, when a metal piece is kept in a varying magnetic field, a decurrent will be produced and that will heat up that material or metal and will melt, that will melt and it can be used for different purposes. So that is induction furnace, okay. induction furnace and in our home in the, the induction stove is there no, induction stove, so that is also an application of that. Then electric brake, electric brakes are there. Electro Brakes also, you see, a strong magnetic field is applied to a rotating drum. So, if you uh, search this in YouTube, you will uh, see the picture of that electric brake. You can see a drum. A strong magnetic field is applied to a rotating drum. Rotating drum is made of uh, metal. So, what happened uh, when a a strong magnetic field is applied to a rotating drum. Rotating means that it is changing. So my, the magnetic field linked with that uh, drum is changing. When it uh, changes, what happens? It experiences uh, a current will be produced in that, in that and experience a torque. And that will stop the motion of the wheel. So now a strong magnetic field is applied to a rotating drum attached to the wheel, rotating drum attached to the wheel. So in order to stop the wheel, we just uh, switch on the current and the magnetic field is produced and that uh, rotating drum suddenly to stop. That opposes the motion, that opposes the change in flux. Now eddy current uh, is set up in the drum, except a torque on the drum so as to stop the drum. These are all applications. Then electric power meter in our house. In our power meter, have you observed a disc is rotating? And the shiny metal disc in the electric power meter rotates due to the eddy current. Have you observed that in your house? Power, then the power meter, you can see a disc is rotating. Electric currents are induced in the disc by magnetic field produced by sinusoidally varying current in the coil. So, electric current are induced, that means eddy current. Eddy current is induced in the disc by, by what? For uh, inducing eddy current, there would be a changing magnetic field. So, here when current changes, magnetic field changes like that. That both are sinusoidal. That means current changes, magnetic field changes. So, EMF will be induced like that. Uh, when current is passed through a coil, what happens? Magnetic field will be produced. And when magnetic flux is changing with time, what happens? EMF will be induced. So that is the sinusoidal variation. You, one changes, the other is also changing. Current increases, flux increases. Current decreases, flux linked with that decreases. When flux decreases, EMF will be increased. Flux increases, 
then also emf will be increased so that is uh, that is sinusoidal variation here similar way they are varying current increases flux increases emf induced increases and sinusoidal variation current decreases flux decreases emf induced decreases sinusoidal variations are produced clear yeah, enough electric currents are induced in the disk by a magnetic field produced by sinusoidally varying current in a coil you can observe the rotating shiny disk in the power meter of the arc okay so uh, well, eddy current what all things you have to study what is eddy current eddy current is the current induced in the body of a conductor when it is kept in a varying magnetic field how will you calculate the magnitude of eddy current current i equal to e by r e equal to minus d phi by dt when we take the modulus d phi by dt by r d phi by dt by r now that is the thing i showed you this one p i equal to d phi by dt by r and d phi by dt is the induced dmf r is the resistance this is the equation for a d current i small letter i is equal to d current Small letter e is equal to the induced EMF. This is induced current. So what is the equation? I equal to e by r e by r. What is e? EMF induced minus d phi by dt. Minus sign shows it always opposes the change in flux. Current induced always opposes the change in flux. So a d current. What is a d current? We know. Then what is the expression for a d current? We know there are some uh, good effects and undesirable effect for a d current. Undesirable effect is uh, reduced by putting slots in the metal sheets or by laminating the soft iron core in transformer, shock coil, etc. And uh, there are some applications of a d current. Which are they? Which are the applications of a d current? Electric brake. Power meter, circular disk is used. Next are the ready, and the induction furnace. It is used to melt the iron or any metallic ore. And uh, okay, all the furnace is there, brake is there, electric power meter is there. All these are applications of eddy current. There it is useful. Okay. Next, it is important because the eddy current uh, how it can be reduced. What are the applications of eddy current? All those things are important. Now, next is self-induction. So, in this chapter, we, we, electromagnetic induction, we have to study uh, self-induction, virtual induction, and uh, generator. With that, uh, that small chapter also will be over. Self-induction, virtual induction, and AC generator also. So, let us study what is self-induction. Self, 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 from that is self, you get some idea. Self induction, it induces something in itself. Learn. So, you can see a coil here, coil or a solenoid it can be named as a solenoid. What's a solenoid? Number of turns of insulated copper wire bounded in the form of a spring. So, bounded in the form of spring, just like a spring it is bounded. And here, when current is varying, current is sent. For example, when we just switch on the current, this is a battery, and here you can see a rheostat to vary the current. And just when we switch on the current, you see, in you know, in the case of a copper wire, just when we switch on the current, the current passes without any delay. The current passes from positive terminal to the negative terminal, passes very fast. But you know, if it is a coil, it has some. Uh, that that process is delayed if it's a coil. If it's a wire, uh, no, it for no resistance. But you know, if it is like in the form of a coil, what happens? It changes into a magnet. When current is sent through that, it changes into a magnet. And uh, we know when it changes into a magnet, the magnetic field lines will be there, and uh, poles also will be developed at the two ends of the coil. Poles will be developed. And here, you know, current is entering here, so from the so positive to 
and that's like this clockwise. So at this end near to the uh, terminal, positive terminal of the battery, the current is flowing clockwise. So what pole will be developed? Clockwise. Current is flowing clockwise. So uh, which pole will be developed there? So the Parvati, which pole will be developed when current flows in clockwise direction? So the Parvati. Sedu Parvati. Ah. Tell which pole will be developed when current flows in clockwise direction? Oh, what happened? No. I am not able to hear. Okay, you can mute your mic. I will call the other one. Bhumika, can you tell Bhumika? 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 Don't know what you are doing here. Anaka? 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 Nobody is listening, that's why I'm not answering. Then Nilima, I'll ask to the Nilima. I have some expectation. Nilima, Nilima ah, South Pole, correct. Very good. Okay. South Pole will be developed. So when current flows in clockwise direction, that part South Pole and this part it will be North Pole. Okay. So here uh, field lines will be there. Field lines, direction. What is the direction of field line? I'll ask to Saliha. What is the direction of field line? Saliha. North to south or south to north? Field line direction. Outside. Outside the solenoid. What is the direction of the magnetic field line? North to south or south to north? Saliha. No answer. Yes, teacher. What is the direction of field line outside the solenoid? North to south or south to north? North to south. Ah, correct answer. Give a clap to her. North to south. But inside you know it will be south to north. Outside, north to south. Okay. Then uh, you can see field, so yeah, around this uh, solenoid there will be magnetic field lines. And uh, you know current is varying from 0 to maximum value. And therefore EMF will be induced in the coil itself. And EMF will be induced and it will send a current to oppose the cell current. To oppose the cell current, a current will be induced in the coil. So, that process of growing of current is delayed. Growth of current is delayed. <coughs> okay. So here uh, again, I'll explain when uh, when we send current through this, that is not uh, growing instantly. It will take some time as it is a coil. It will take some time to increase the current from zero to maximum value. Clear? So that uh, because coil will oppose the change in current. Coil itself will induce an EMF in it and will oppose the increase of current. Increase of current means zero to maximum value. Zero initially it was zero. When we switch on the circuit, current is increasing from zero to maximum value. As it is a coil, that is not an instantaneous process. It is get delayed. Why it is delayed? Because of the induced EMF in the coil itself. So when we send current through the coil, what happened? An EMF will be induced in the coil and it will send a current to oppose the growth of current. That means oppose the cell current. Okay. So that is not a self-induction. Self-induction. It is the property of the coil by virtue of which it opposes the growth and the decay of current. Decay also is opposed. You know, we have discussed about growth of current. When we switch on the current, current goes from 0 to maximum value. At that time, an EMF will be induced in the coil and it will send a current to oppose the cell current. So you can see I have marked here, cell current is towards right. Cell current is towards right. 
and induce that and EMF will be induced and the current will flow in that and that will be towards left. Current flow will be towards left. Of course, that change in current. Understand? So that that, that, is, that is not a self-induction. Self-induction, it is the property of the coil by virtue of which it opposes the growth and decay of current. During decay also that is observed. Do you know what happened during decay? Decay means when we switch off the circuit, switch off the circuit, what happened? Current decreases from maximum value to zero, decreases from maximum value to zero. Actually, it was 3 ampere current was flowing. When we switch off, what happened? Current decreases from 3 to zero, 3 ampere to zero, decreases. During the decrease of current, what will happen? Flux linked with the coil decreases. That decrease also is opposed by inducing an EMF in the coil and it will send a current in it. Understand? That will oppose the, oppose the decay of current. How it can oppose decay of current? Decay of current means current is uh, decreasing. So, it will send the current in the direction of cell current. At that time, it will be in the direction of cell current. But during growth of current, it will be opposite direction of cell current. I will explain once more. During the growth of current, current flow is towards right. Then induced current will be towards left. But during the break of the circuit, during the decay of the current, cell current is say, some in this direction. But and uh, uh, during the decay, in the induced current also will be supporting the cell current flowing in the same direction of cell current. That, that means the coil always like to oppose the any change in the strength of current flowing through. Coil uh, like to maintain the same flux linked with the circuit or coil. Always like to maintain the same flux. It doesn't like the change in flux. Whether a decrease or uh, increase, it doesn't like any change in flux. Understand? It like to maintain that uh, flux in the circuit. Doesn't like like the change, and that is why it opposes that uh, change in flux. Change in flux is always opposed by inducing an EMF in itself. So I think you understood self-induction. Uh, that means it is also known as back EMF. So uh, applied EMF is uh, positive. Current, you know, positive and negative. Applied EM due to the applied EMF. This is the source of EMF for us. And due to the applied EMF, current is flowing towards right. And due to the self-induction, a current is flowing towards opposite direction. Understand? So self-induction is the property of the coil by virtue of which it opposes the growth and decay of current through it. Opposes the growth and decay of current through it. How? By inducing an EMF in itself. And it is also known as back EMF. That means opposing EMF, back EMF in it. Since it opposes the current, it is called inertia of electricity. So uh, inertia, we know, uh, body at rest, like to be at rest, body in uniform motion, like to be in uniform motion. It doesn't like any change in its state of rest or state of motion. It doesn't like any change in its state of rest, state of motion. Similarly, the, here, the, in a coil, when we send current through a coil, it doesn't like change in current. doesn't like any change in its current. Growth of current is opposed. Decay of current is opposed. How it opposes? By inducing a back EMF, an opposing EMF in the coil. So that is known as self-induction. And we know that flux, uh, magnetic flux linked with the coil is directly proportional to the current through it. Flux is directly proportional to current. Flux equal to Li, constant into I. And that constant is known as coefficient of self-induction, L. Constant is known as coefficient of self-induction, L equal to 5 by 